Hello, hello, and this is Mazel Mashia from Percolation Gaming, and today we're going to be doing a let's play of Shin Megami Tensei Persona 4. Now, Persona 4 is developed by Atlas, like most of the Shin Megami Tensei games, past the 1995 era, that is, i.e. the PlayStation era. And it's kind of inspired by Persona 3 in terms of gameplay and just the story and production of it, and Persona 2. Just how in Persona 2 you kind of have to confront your shadow selves in order to awaken one's persona. The player named Main Protagonist is a high school student who moved to a countryside from the city for a year and during his long year stay he becomes involved in investigating mysterious murders while harnessing the power of a summoning persona. Now it's kind of interesting. Last game, Persona 3, the main protagonist actually had a name. But in this one, you start off with no name, no default name, nothing like that. And in fact, the only reason that the protagonist has a name is because of the anime, Persona 4, the animation, which is apparently very well received, and that name that they have chosen for him is Yu Narukami. Now this game is known for quite a few things. Pretty much just like the kind of dating simulator that they've implemented in the Persona 3. That's back again. And then the soundtrack and kind of combat style. Now the soundtrack for the Persona games are impeccable. I love them. I would recommend playing the game just off the soundtracks alone. Now there's another one called Persona 4 Golden. Which has been released October 30th. And it's pretty much just kind of an expansion, similar to Persona 3 Portable. Except, hopefully, unlike Persona 3 Portable, they don't kind of ruin the game and remove key elements due to the limitation of the PlayStation Portable. Now, the PlayStation Vita, since it has a lot more working room with it, it's supposed to be just an all-around better game and supposedly an expansion on the game. There's additional Personas, character outfits, expanded spoken lines, anime cutscenes, and includes two new social links for Marie and Toru Adachi. The game also supports the wireless networking features of the Vita, allowing the player to call for help in dungeons at the same time in order to get help for the dungeon battles. Another feature is a garden that produces items that can use in various dungeons. The game was released in Japan on June 14, 2012. During its debut week, the game sold 137,000 units in Japan, and a month later, it ended up selling 193,000. Now, usually, we don't really get a lot of the content from these games, which is rather unfortunate. We kind of get the easy mode versions, or we're missing a boss, or a couple of fights, even sometimes part of the story and the characters such as the case in Final Fantasy VII. I mean, we missed quite a few bosses in that one, which were later re-released, but, you know, it's not really the point. In this one, we evidently get, quote-unquote, 99.9% .9 of the content, with only one or two commercials missing. And I assume by commercials, they just mean the commercials that were used in the beginning cutscene, which you will see soon enough. Like most RPGs, this one starts off kind of slow as well. I think it takes about an hour, hour and a half to kind of actually get started with the game, actually fighting, exploring into the whole little dungeon crawler thing that Persona is pretty much known for. Now this game has three difficulties, normal, beginner, and expert. And the only real difference between these difficulties is beginner, it's incredibly easy and it starts you off with 10 revival items. Normal, it's just your normal difficulty, which is usually enough of a challenge for most people. Expert, however, it goes kind of overboard. I mean, you can get one shot really easily and there's no real way to avoid it other than you knowing that this floor might have really dangerous enemies that could one shot you, so you should probably start grinding before you even attempt to go there. I'll give you an example. I started off on an expert mode and it was a blind playthrough I'd, I've never played the game before. So I went to the first boss, and I was like, oh, wow, the first boss. Let's kind of go in here, get the story going, see how we do. And it's essentially just a knight on a horse 
in a castle and your job is to kind of protect someone, a main character, and rescue her from this evil. So I was like, oh, well, this is neat. I sh it shouldn't be too hard. I didn't struggle with kind of the beginner bosses. I mean, I didn't die once. No difficulties at all. But, however, I only hit this guy for 3 damage and then he proceeded to one-shot all of my characters. There was no real warning of that. No kind of beware, there's no going back, this enemy might kick your butt. Nothing like that. Just one-shot, proceeded by a game over, and ended up losing a lot of progress. So with that said, this is kind of one of the games where you really, really need to save often and pretty much whenever you can and maybe even use multiple save files just to be safe. Now I'll be quiet just so you can kind of get a feel for the familiar voice acting, music, and your opening cutscene. The Velvet Room. Ah, it seems we have a guest with an intriguing destiny. <laughs> My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. It may be that such a fate awaits you in the near future. Now then, why don't you introduce yourself? I see. Now, let's take a look into your future, shall we? Do you believe in fortune telling? Each reading is done with the same cards, yet the result is always different. <laughs> Life itself follows the same principles, doesn't it? Hmm. The tower in the upright position represents the immediate future. It seems a terrible catastrophe is imminent. The card indicating the future beyond that is... The moon in the upright position. This card represents hesitation and mystery. Very interesting indeed. It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination, and a great mystery will be imposed upon you. In the coming days, you will enter into a contract of some sort, after which you will return here. The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. My duty is to provide assistance to our guests to ensure that does not happen. Ah, 
I have neglected to introduce my assistant to you. This is Margaret. She is a resident of this place, like myself. My name is Margaret. I am here to accompany you through your journey. We shall attend to the details another time. Until then... Refreshing taste of calorie magic. And we're back. Now on to some juicy news. The Mayumi Yamano scandal. I'm sure everyone is... <laughs> first he bags a singer, then he has an affair with a TV announcer on the side. Do chicks really dig politicians? Isn't it just stuff like money and connections? When you get down to it, financial and political clout is what matters. Hey, what is that supposed to mean? Well, what do you think? Well, I'm sure that you all know already, but at the end of this month, he will be transferring to another school. Quiet down, guys. I'm not done yet. Just about. The question on everyone's minds is how this love triangle will affect. And here we have the lovely town of Inaba, where our character will be starting. Hey, over here! These are the two you'll be staying with. Well, you're more handsome in person than in your photo. Welcome to Inaba. I'm Ryotaro Dojima. I'll be looking after you. Let's see, I'm your mother's younger brother, and that about sums it up. As you see, it's kind of a choice system. You get to choose your own dialogue in a very limited sense. I'll say, you've really grown. I still remember when you were in diapers. At least you didn't change those diapers. This would be awkward. This here's my daughter. Come on, Nanako. Introduce yourself to your cousin. Don't be shy. <laughs> I don't bite. Hello. <laughs> what are you so shy for? Oh, ow! <laughs> Dang, she's got spunk. <laughs> and she is mad. Well then, let's get going. My car's over there. So pretty much what happens is you move from the big city because his parents are gone and comes to Inaba to live with his uncle. Hi! Welcome to Mole! 
Can you go to the bathroom by yourself? Uh-huh. Very trusting people here. It's in the back, to your left. You know which way is left? The side you don't hold your chopsticks in. Is that really a habit? I know. Jeez. I mean, Americans tend to use whatever hand they like for their forks and knives. It doesn't even matter. Are you taking a trip? No, we just went to pick him up. He just moved here from the big city. A city, huh? Fill up my car while you're at it. Regular's fine. It must be weird. Right away, sir. I didn't even know attendance like that still existed. Time is any for a smoke. Are you in high school? Does it surprise a city boy to see how little there is out here? I'm sure it could be worse. There's so little to do, I'm sure you'll get bored fast. You'll either be hanging out with your friends or doing part-time jobs. Which is very true. Speaking of which, we're actually looking for part-time help right now. Wish it was that easy to get a job. Give it some thought, why don't you? We don't mind if you're a student. I mean, look at that, he skipped the interview process. That must be nice. Oh, I should get back to work. Pretty much how it works is you kind of get part-time jobs in order to pass the time, as this is a kind of simulation game. Are you okay? Did you get car sick? You also end up hanging out with you your friends. You don't look too good. In order to kind of build up social links in order to make your characters stronger, which you'll see more of later. And you see that old man and that dog like everywhere, I swear to god, they're stalking you. I want to have a passionate affair with you, and it's pretty gross. Even the dog wants to be involved. This one's sick city. All right, let's have a toast. What are we toasting? Okay, wait. What did we toast? We didn't toast anything. You're doing it wrong. So your mom and dad are busy as always. They're working overseas, was it? I know it's only for a year, but. Getting stuck in a place like this because of your parents? It's rough being a kid. Well, it's just me and Nanako here, so it'll be nice having someone like you around. So long as you're here, you're part of the family. So make yourself... In these games, you generally have a limited kind of time frame in order to beat it. In Persona 3 and 4's case, it's a year. <laughs> Come on. There's no need to be so formal. <laughs> Look, you're making Nanako all tense. So if you kind of mess up and aren't really beefed up enough, well, anyway, let's eat. you'll pretty much end up losing the last fight, and there's nothing you can really do. Oh, who's calling at this hour? I don't know, maybe a mathematician. Pi came out of your phone. Dojima speaking. Mm hmm Yeah, I see. So where is it? Uh-huh. All right, I'm on my way. Looks like I made the right choice to skip the booze. Probably not. You should have taken a few shots. Sorry, but I gotta go take care of some business. Go ahead and eat without me. I'm gonna eat your Photoshop food, by I the way. I don't know how late I'll be. Nanako, you help him out, okay? It's gonna be delicious. Okay. It's kind of weird how they model out drinks and cups and stuff, but for food, they don't really model it out with a few items. It's just kind of Nanako, Photoshop. Nanako, it's raining out. What did you do with the laundry? It this is one responsible little girl. All right. Well, I'm off. She's kind of like a maid. This dad's got her trained. Look at that hot rod. Vroom, vroom. For this week. Next, let's take a look at the hourly breakdown of tomorrow's weather. With storm clouds moving in from the west, expect rain throughout the day tomorrow in most areas. Let's eat. Now the news actually kind of has a point in this game. You use the news in order to see what the weather is, which kind of ties into the storyline, as you'll see. He investigates stuff, like crime scenes. CSI Inaba. My dad's a detective. I wonder if he makes bad puns. And now for the local news. City Council Secretary Taro Namatame is under fire for an alleged relationship with a female reporter.
His wife, Enka ballad sensation Misuzu Hiragi, revealed to this station that she will likely pursue damages. That is one scandalous In man. Response, I Television has decided to cancel all of announcer until allegations of an affair with Mr. Namatame are resolved. She'll remain off the air and out of the public eye. This is boring. Yeah, the news kind of tends to be that way. Every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. You'll learn to hate this song. For this reason right here. Every day is great at your June Every single time. Without Aren't fail. Aren't you going to eat? Oh, sorry. My Photoshop didn't look too good. So as you read, the calendar can kind of help you save. And here's the new system that I was talking about. You can see a seven-day forecast. Or I'm sorry, five-day. I can't count. You can have up to 16 save files, which is kind of a lot. I like it. I can dig it. And there's a chance that there may be something in the fridge. And should you eat that something in the fridge, there's a chance you might get courage, which is just a stat increase that can kind of help you in your social links and various endeavors. And apparently it was quite gross. And here's your room where you spend quite a bit of your time either sleeping and or studying or watching TV depending on what's going on. But apparently our character's a pansy, so we're going to sleep. Because who doesn't like sleep? The school system is kind of interesting. I mean, that's where you spend a lot of your time as well. Just catching up with various clubs or friends. And it's kind of like a hub point for where the story takes place. Majority of the time. And it seems we're having one hell of a nightmare. We're in Kiebert's world. Hopefully there are no crazy pretzel enemies. Now the controllers are kind of straightforward. I mean, it's typical for a PlayStation RPG. Left stick to move, right stick to move the camera. L1 and L2, R1 and R2 to move the camera left or right respectively. The L1 and R1 is kind of like a smooth scroll for the camera, whereas L2 and R2 kind of go by the camera angles and about 20 degrees per button press. Triangle goes into your menu. X is kind of like the attack or investigate key. And then circle, it kind of focuses the camera behind you. It's very useful if you're trying to look at a very specific area. And this does not look good. I mean, when has anyone ever gone through a cube portal and been like, you know what, this is a good idea. Let's proceed. And here's the awesome music. This is where it starts. This isn't the main battle music, but it's just kind of a nice little segue into it. And apparently we're pursuing someone and have pulled a sword on them. I don't know where we got a sword, but apparently we have a sword. And it's about to go down. But we can kind of barely see him. It's not looking too good. His health is barely budging. Oh, and now we can't see him at all. There's so much fog. Just swing blindly. You can do it. Fight. Fight the power. If only it worked like that. Clearly need like fog lights or something, man, because this isn't working. Wait. We're losing consciousness in a dream. Oh god, Inception! Doom, doom.